I see this question pop up a lot on Facebook and in Facebook uh, woodworking groups. So I'm hoping I can help with this with this short video. As you can see, when I wired my shop, I did all 20 amps, no 15s, and I suggest you do the same if you're building a shop. There is also a 30 amp. That 30 amp is for a future upgraded table saw, maybe a three or five horsepower table saw in the future. The question I'm referring to is why does my table saw keep flipping breakers when I'm running my saw and a dust collector at the same time? Hopefully this will help you out. So the first question is, do you have your shop wired or your garage wired for 15 amp breakers or do you have some 20 amps? So if you are having that problem, this is your answer. This is a automatic vacuum switch, as you can see it says there. And what it is, is you can have two tools plugged in here on the bottom and then your vacuum on the top. So the way I have mine set up is, of course, this is my dust collector and I have one hose going to my planer that I can switch out from my planer to my joiner on the bottom. And then I have another hose going to my table saw. And when I power on my table saw, Now, if you notice, there was a delay on the startup and the uh, turn off because that's what this automatic switch does. You can set it for a three, seven, or 10 second delay. I have mine on seven. So what that means is, is when you turn off your table saw, it's gonna run the dust collector for another seven seconds. And that way it sucks up any dust that's left over after you're through cutting. I also have one of these switches on my miter saw that turns on my shop vac. And another cool feature about these switches is if I need to use my shop vac by itself, I can just push this button here twice. And as you can see, it turned on the shop vac on its own without turning on my miter saw. And I'll show you again how this works. So I don't know if you heard the shop vac turn on after the miter saw. And then when the miter saw turned off, the shop vac had a seven. Well, I got this one set on three. It had a three second delay before it turns off. And why this switch works so great is because it has a delay on startup. The problem that most people are probably having is they're trying to turn their table saw and their dust collector on at the same time. If you do that, all that amperage gets drawn in at the very start, because when you fire up a table saw, it's drawing more amps to start up than it is to run. The same with the dust collector. If you do them both at the same time, it's gonna flip your 15 amp breaker. Now I have a 20, which so far for two years now has been fine. But if you have a larger table saw than this, like a three horsepower or five horsepower, and a larger dust collector, then you're most likely gonna need a 30 amp breaker. The reason this works so well is because of that delay. Now I've had no issues, never flipped a breaker um, at all in the last two years. So if you look in your panel and you have 15 amp breakers instead of 20 and your table saw is connected to a 15, then you're gonna to wanna to replace that and upgrade it to a 20. But if you do that, you're also gonna to have to run a new wire because most 15 amps if not all are going to have a 14 gauge wire and you need a 12 gauge wire on a 20 amp breaker the breakers are very easy to pull out all you want to do is turn off your main power uh, check it with a voltmeter to make sure everything's off before you start messing around in the panel these are pretty simple to pull out you just pull them out like that and pull back and it'll come out pretty easy you undo that screw, take that wire out, put your new breaker in, put the wire back in, and push the breaker back in, and you're good to go. But like I said, if you do have to change this out, you're going to have to run a new wire 
to your outlet. There's plenty of videos on how to wire an outlet. You can also look at the one that's already there and just wire it the same way when you run the new wire. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you like videos like this about wiring and electrical, let me know and I'll do some more like this. I'm not a licensed electrician, but I did go to school for two years to be an electrician. I just didn't go that route. I learned from a master electrician, so I do know a little bit about wiring. So if you'd like to see more videos on how to wire a shop and how to put in a panel like this, I wired this whole shop myself. I ran a 100 amp service over underground from my house. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.